Hello everyone. In this video, let's try to understand the workings and differences in three mathf functions lurk, move towards and ping pong. Let's start with lurk. Create a slider to observe the lurk value. Set the slider range from 0 to 100 float value. Create a new script named test script. Define the lurk slider for assignment. Now, inside the update method, we will update the lurk slider value on every frame using the lurk function. So, let's first understand the workings of the lurk function. The mathf.lurk function returns a value that is linearly interpolated between A and B based on the value of T. Here, A is the starting point on a number line, and B is the end point. T is the interpolation factor with a value between 0 and 1. When T is 0, the function returns A, and when T is 1, it returns B. If T is between 0 and 1, it returns a value that is proportionally between A and B. Now, going back to our logic, on each frame, we will update the slider value using the slider's min and max values. T will be continuously incrementing by 0.1 per second. Now, go back to the scene, assign the slider, and hit play to see the code in action. As you can see, the handle is moving at a constant speed of 10 units per second. There is one more popular way of using LERP. Replace the min value with the current value, which is getting updated on every frame. Fix the value of t to 0.5 per second. This way, after every second, the handle will cover half of the remaining distance. Play the scene, and you will notice that the speed is decreasing with the passing of time. Now let's set up a slider for the move towards function. Open the script and define the move towards slider. The mathf.movetowards function returns a new value that represents the updated current value after moving it towards the target. Here, C is the current value, T is the target value, and I is the increment that will occur in the current value. There is one condition that the returned value will never exceed the target value. We will update the move towards slider value by passing the slider's current value, max value, and an increment of 10 units per second. Go back to the scene, assign the slider, hit play, and you will see the handle moving at a constant speed. Now, set up a slider for the ping pong function. Open the script and define the ping pong slider. The mathf.pingpong function returns a value that oscillates between zero and length following a ping pong pattern. As t varies from zero to length, the function returns a value that starts at zero, increases linearly up to length, 
and then decreases back to zero in a smooth oscillating motion as t crosses the length value. So, we will use time dot time as t because time increases continuously at the same rate. Multiply time dot time by 20 to get a speed of 20 units per second. The length will be the slider's max value. Go back to the scene, assign the slider, hit play, and you will see the handle moving in a ping pong motion. Also, you can observe the difference in all three motions. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.